Hi guys, welcome back to Tractor Doctor TV. Today, we're going to put new points into this little Fergie. Okay guys, so first thing here, we're, we're gonna put this here, this kit is in. But before we get started, and before I give you some little, the back history, I have two quick little announcements. My first announcement is, um, I'm not gonna do, have a video during the Christmas week. I'm just gonna be too busy with family stuff. And the second quick, little quick announcement is, we're going to, I'm gonna start dropping uh, the videos on Tuesdays. It just gives me more time to um, get videos made. I, I'm up here, uh, either up here at the shop making videos with my brother Dave, or some of you know him as Crazy D. So it makes it a little easier on me to get you guys a video made, so. But let's get back to the, the little Fergie here. So for you guys that don't follow, that follow me, and not, maybe not follow my, my brother and over at Crazy D, we have been trying to get this little thing to run. We've had some success. It will putter but won't start. Um, the first time we tried that, the, the starter broke. The little, and you've had the video on how to fix that. And then I was having trouble with the starter, some little bit of starter problems. I didn't get some stuff quite right when I put it back together. It was dragging so it wouldn't let me, let us get enough uh, rotation to get it to fire. I think, and then on the last video we, we did over at Crazy, D, Crazy D's equipment, um, it would it would putter, but wouldn't wouldn't take off. And the more we mess with it, the less I, the less it would it would the shorter the period of time it would kind of try to take off. And then at the very end, when we're, we we uh, we did some little work after the video on it, and I had no spark again. So I did a little research and just and figured out that the uh, the coil, or not the coil, but the condenser has is, is going bad. So that's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna put new points in this thing and see if we can get it to, to take off today. Okay, guys, so here we are, right here at the uh, distributor. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull these little clips, and the other one's easier to do with the screwdriver. Here's your cap. There's the uh, rotor, also known as a bug. There's many names for those, I'm pretty sure. And then, you get to watch, well, maybe I'm not gonna struggle today. There you go. Your little cap, your dust cover, and there you go, guys, we're right there at the points. Okay, guys, as I said, you can now you can see the points. So, the first, um, the first thing we're going to do is I need to figure out, okay, I think we got the wrong point set. So what are we going to do, guys? We're going to, we're going to do, because those points were pretty good, but we know that the core, the condenser is not working. And I'm gonna stop right here for a second and go gather the tools I will need to finish this. I'll be right back. Okay guys, I am back. So the first thing we're gonna do is a screw on the uh, condenser here that I'm going to remove. And that should be good. The next thing we need to do is figure out which size this nut is here. So we're gonna grab more than two seconds, which is way too big. And then the next one I'm gonna do is a 5 sixteenths, which would also be your metric um, eight, which it does not seem to wanna fit. No. So it's bigger. Um, nine? Does that work? Nine this seems not to be the right one. Where is it? It is. No? That is intriguing. 
mine is not it it has to be this one you just not get it on here right there it is all right guys okay just making sure you guys could see what's going on there the next thing we need to do is get on to the one there's a nut right behind that one I'm gonna it needs to be work these down so we gotta work that second one down I don't think there's anything else that should oh, I Try on this a little or what because there's not a Mm. All right, all right. Different angle here. I think we're gonna take. Do this and try to change Okay. <laughs> this one. I'll take. This one off. Here. So, oh, try not to do that, and then pull those off. I like to turn the little dust cover over if you can. Use the back side of it for a. And then that one. There's not a. See, there's a. It might be a, a keeper or anything. In that is it. Don't see what like there is. Hmm. Let's see. We. Can uh, finish pulling the little Phillips screw out. That should be all the way out. Okay. It went right up there. Okay, good. I'm slightly. I don't have to pull the. You might have to pull the whole assembly out. There may be a nut on the inside. Looks like there is, actually. Okay. Might be okay, there is. So let's get that. Okay, guys. So here, I'm gonna talk real quick with you. We're gonna take these points. We got the points out of the out of the uh, out there. I'm gonna set these points. Try to set these up where you can see them. Okay. Here. So real quick, guys. Um, we're going to zoom out just a little. Okay, real quick, guys. I set up some of the, the points we bought, and I hope you guys can see it here. Okay, but this one here are different. So, these are different. And the reason they're different, this is these points, the points here, the new ones are for a T 
TO20 and this is a TE20. So these are, there, there is a difference. If anybody tells you no, there's not a difference, there actually is a difference. Because these are, are straight right here and they curve around the, they curve around, they're around the, um, where the, uh, well, what the, the little shaft there that the bug, or the distributor, um, the, the bug. I'm going to call it the bug because that's what I, I remember it as, but the uh, rotor, rotor rides upon. And so, guys, there is a difference. So, but anyways, let's get back to, to this. I think I can get away with going ahead and using this condenser. And that should fix the problem. We'll go ahead and... That might be a different size. No, it's the same size. So what we'll do... So you guys, kind of, so you guys can see what I'm doing. I ended up starting with my brother helping. And then he had to... Had to go take care of some stuff on the lot, so... And I uh, think I'm going to use, if I can't, oh, I can't. Okay, guys, so all we got to do, and I've already done it, is just use these, uh, these yellow points so right there on the end, right here on the end of the wire, there's this little, little loop right here. And you just get that slit over that, and then you take your wrench, which this happens to be 5 sixteenths. And uh, which be which I think translates in metric to um, I guess eight millimeter. And you get that in there, and you snug that back down. And you get that snug back down. So you notice I'm not screwing that down yet. All right. Well, that, the reason I'm not screwing that down yet is the screw that holds that is also one of the screws that holds this plate down. So, there's nothing to screw to, to be, to be straight with you on that. So we take this, we'll grab our little dust cover with all our screws and nuts and uh, plastic covers and rubber, rubber or plastic covers and screws and such and we'll go back over to where we were working so okay guys uh we're pretty well close to ready to do it so i to slide that back down in it's like so and then oop, i gotta get the forgot to grab one thing hold on give me a second okay so now it's rubber grommet a uh, little washer and then one of the the inner um, eight millimeter I should use eight millimeter guys because this thing is this thing is um, English which means that it's there's a and Crazy D could give you better, better history and such on this thing, but if I understood correctly from my research and and all that, to meet the demand that Ford was having for these little Ferguson's, um, because I, there was a, a deal that they, I, I, I believe there was a deal that Mr. Ferguson and Mr. Ford put made to for if, to use for Ford to use the uh, Ferguson system, and I'm, I'm pretty sure somebody can correct me if I'm wrong on this. I know somebody probably will, but that's fine. That uh, let that tuck down in there. It's not. Going to be in the 
in the way or anything. I think that one actually. Mm, uh, fiddly, fiddly, fiddly. This using it that. So guys, here we go. Got a different battery on here, and it's a better screwdriver here. So we had spark before. Ah. Uh, here at the point. Okay guys, I don't know what happened, but I had lost sound uh, for my ending, but just really quick before we end the video is I, I worked on it a little bit off, off camera and I'm still having the same problems. I, I showed you earlier in the video that we have good spark, so I don't think it's spark. It might be the carburetor or something like that um so guys that's that on that um to end the video is thanks for coming in guys and watching and i always say give it a thumbs up if you like if you feel that's worth doing uh share if you feel it's worth doing subscribe if you haven't already it don't cost you anything guys other than that, guys, uh, thank you for coming in, in and watching. I'm sorry it's such a long video, but uh, see you next time. Bye.